I hit send and I go like this. And it went through and I was like, what did I just do? Hey, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I've been smiling all day. This is the highlight of my day, ah. but uh, <laughs> definitely helped me to start my day and gave me something to think about all day. Oh, good. That makes me feel better. I was like a little nervous. You know, I'm shy. Oh, please. Yeah, I, I could tell that you were hesitating, and I wasn't sure what you were getting at as I was reading the email <laughs> until I got into it. And I said, ah, okay, well... <laughs> Hi my loves, it's me Ro. Welcome back to my channel. <sighs> Today I had a totally <laughs> different video planned for you guys with Adam and it's, it's Valentine's Day today when I'm filming this. And he decided he wanted to take the topic in a different direction <laughs> and talk about an email that I sent him last night. So I am mortified. I do not think I made eye contact with the camera the whole entire time we were on the phone. So I'm contemplating even editing and sharing and posting this video, but my life is an open book to you guys, so I will do it. If you're new here, my name is Ro. I'm mortified that this is the first video that you're watching. You might wanna go back on the channel and watch a couple of videos and then come back here. But I am the founder of a nonprofit organization called Strong Prison Lives and Families, the author of a book called The Comeback Code, and I've been using my experiences to coach prison wives and family members since 2009. We don't glorify or glamorize prison or prison wife life here, but I will help you get through this journey and teach you how to set goals and attain them and make the best out of this not so great situation. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you're notified every single time I post a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and sometimes we go live on the days in between. Okay, so here is the background story of this. I can't look in the camera. I can't make eye contact with you guys. <laughs> this is how you get like my real vulnerable shy side. As far as mail, where Adam is, I'm not allowed to send him any books. I'm not allowed to send him any magazines. I'm not allowed to send him any cards. I can't really send him anything. He didn't get anything for Christmas. He didn't get anything for his birthday. And then here came Valentine's Day. And I just couldn't do that. Like, how do you not give the person you love even a card on these days and these special occasions? So a couple days ago, it dawned on me, the only thing that I have left that I could give to him is me. Adam and I have never had any type of adult conversation while he's been inside. I know people are just, uh, they don't believe us and they don't understand it, but it's always been very awkward for me. I posted a video about how I grew up in a cult and I was raised by a very overly religious, restrictive family. And I'll post that in the cards up there so you can learn a little bit more about my background. But I always say like I could do anything with him. I just don't wanna talk about it and I don't wanna write about it. And I'm just a very shy person. And to me, I feel like that's something that we share between the two of us inside of a bedroom not over email and not over phone calls. But I decided with the help of a friend who I had spoken to years ago and she offered to help me write an adult type of letter to Adam because I couldn't, I tried, I couldn't put the pen to the paper, the words weren't coming out. I'm just super shy with that. I have so many scars, PTSD a little bit. But I've been together with Adam for over 10 years and we don't have that side of our relationship. So when he called today, we were gonna talk about all the sellies that he's had and the good experiences and the bad experiences. And he decided that he wanted to talk about this instead. And I think that it's really important to share this with you guys because I think people wonder. So let me read you, obviously this is just the intro it's not gonna be anything graphic or anything adult in here, but this is the introduction that I sent to him because he refers to this in the call that we had that I'll play right after I read this to you guys. So I said, hey handsome, that's how I start every email to him. I've been stripped from being able to send you a token of my love, even a simple greeting card. You know your tenacious, left-handed, right-brained, creative wife won't let them win. This is way out of my comfort zone, way. I'll probably hesitate for an hour and then want to throw up after if I work up the courage to hit send. If you're reading this, we'll both be shocked. There is nothing else I want to give you this Valentine's Day or any other day. I've been saving it for you all along. Just wish it could have been in person. Rain check. And then I go into this adult graphic letter that 
honestly, my friend wrote. <laughs> she asked me a couple of questions about things that I think about when I'm with Adam and in the future, I mean alone behind closed doors. And I answered those questions because we're really good friends and I trust her with that. And then she constructed this beautiful letter for me that I sat in front of my computer and I was like, I can't do this. I sat with another bestie on a video chat app and I'm like, please, I can't do it. I can't, no. And then all of a sudden I had the email up on the screen She's like, girl, you gotta do it. You're gonna feel so much closer to him, blah, blah, blah. I was in your shoes until I did it. Her husband's also a lifer in prison. And so I hit send and I go like this. And it went through and I was like, what did I just do? There's no recall button on Coralynx, the email system for federal prison. Picked my phone back up and I chatted my friend. And I was like, I did it. I would have rather jumped out of a plane or bungee jumped. It, like it felt like that it felt like I was like as I hit send I was being pushed out of an airplane and I didn't want to go and it's not that I didn't want to send that to Adam it's that I'm super super shy and reserved and I honestly in a weird way felt like maybe he'd lose respect for me I crazy but what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna play this phone call for you guys so you can see and hear exactly what his emotions were when he got that and what my emotions were leading up to it and while sending it. So without wasting any more time or delaying any further or being any more awkward than I am right now. You see, I'm not like my weird over the top crazy row. Also because I was up half the night <laughs> nervous about the fact that I just sent this. Isn't that weird? So this is it, real raw vulnerability. I actually titled this email, complete vulnerability. <laughs> was that you wouldn't mind us changing course a bit for tonight's call and allowing us to focus on talk a little bit about the challenges that we have that we face in doing for one another under these circumstances especially considering how things went this year with the changes in the mail policy without being able to send cards or pictures and I know that that was a challenge for you. And that's really what inspired the email you sent me overnight. And I'm grateful that they took our cards and pictures if that's what it took to inspire you to do that. Aww. And on my end, on my end, I had it all planned out with this card and the mug to have them ready to go and get them to you ahead of time. Obviously, that didn't work out. My project got a little sabotaged, but it's all good because you're gonna get that eventually and gratefully I was able to get you those flowers today. They were beautiful and you know what? Everyone loves to remind us all we have is time. So it's no rush. It'll happen when it's meant to happen. I'll get it when it's meant to be here. I think this is a perfect change of course. We're already rolling by the way, but I think this is a perfect change of course because just today I posted a video about everything that you've been able to send me. And at the end I was kind of talking a little bit about how we really have gotten so much stripped away from us throughout the course of this past year. But go ahead, why don't you take the lead and start? All right, well, um, as usual, you know, we're on the same page and, and I do, I wanna hear all about that. And as I was thinking about this, I spent all day locked down. That's why you haven't heard from me. <gasps> uh, yeah, thankfully we came out after dinner, it was a little bit late and hey, I was still able to make this call on time, so it's all good. Nothing to worry about there, but having all day to, to really <laughs> sit in there, and it was basically like being alone because my celly slept through it all. You know, I had plenty of time to think about this and, you know, I have a confession to make that one of the reasons, the primary reason, there's a couple of them, but why I avoid the topic of sex for you and I, and I'm confident, I mean, I know when we're together, we have great chemistry, so that's not ever really a concern. My reasons for kind of avoiding it to a degree, well, to a large degree, first is because all of my previous relationships were all based purely on physical attraction and were extremely shallow. And you and I have talked about this before. I feel so fortunate for our relationship to have been able to evolve the way that it has without, I'm gonna say, me getting in my own way because, you know, when I was younger and my immaturity, that, that was my focus and the communication was just never there. What we have is a result of what we've invested years of getting to know each other and, and really opening up and feeling comfortable enough to share those things. So I'm grateful for that, but part of my caution is because
because of those previous relationships. The second thing is all my emails and phone calls are very closely monitored, and we've talked about this before, and maybe some of the listeners can appreciate this. They're always listening to a degree. Unfortunately, because of my time and because of uh, the role that I've played in here for a period of time now, they pay a little bit closer attention, and I've had some conversations regarding my communications with people on the outside that were more out of curiosity. Staff members were more curious about my conversation, and it really had nothing to do with security or any other reasons that they were supposed to be listening to the phone calls. So part of that, you know, gives me pause occasionally on, you know, some of the things that I'm willing to, to share with them. I mean, I'm pretty, pretty wide open, but there are still some things that I'd rather them not be a part of. The third thing is, you know, when I was in the state prison, again, I was 18 years old, 18 to 21. And again, my focus was far more different. And the young woman that I was with at the time, she eventually wound up leaving because she said she needed someone there physically. And to be honest, like that relationship was based not solely, but primarily on, you know, that physical attraction. And that's something that always stood by me. You know, it, it stuck out in my mind. And I felt like me giving any additional attention to that might cause you to think like, man, this is what I'm missing. I too, I need somebody physically here. So that was that was my limiting fear, you know, part of where that stemmed from, that you would come to that realization. But after that uh, email I received from you this morning, uh, it's obviously a very vivid imagination, and you've been thinking quite a lot about us being together, and I hope I didn't do anything to make you feel or cause you to, to, to feel like this call is from a federal prison. Open up and share that with me previously, aside from you being naturally shy. So, where did all that come from? I just felt like you didn't get anything for your birthday. You didn't get anything for Christmas. I didn't want to do that to you again, but I couldn't give you anything. What's the only thing I could give you <laughs> is myself. And so I really like, I thought about it and I totally hear what you're saying about having your emails read and all that stuff. And I hesitated because of that. And then I thought about it again. And I said, well, if somebody approaches Adam about it, he's not the type, I figured you would just be able to brush it off. Also thinking about having to be around those people and see those people because I think intimacy should be private between two people. Unfortunately, that's not, we're limited right now. That's not the way our lives are at the moment. And so the fact that I will never have to show my face there again kind of helped a little bit. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I'll be honest with you. I had help with that letter. I, I can't write like that. I can't write my feelings like that. I mean, I have plenty of fantasies and I've had them for years, but I'm very, very, very shy. I've had some experience in my past that was like kind of traumatic and you know about all of this, but like with my Catholic culty upbringing, that's really hard for me to put words to. Doing things is very different, but putting words to it is different. And I also got very nervous because I know this is gonna sound so crazy, but like, I was like, is he gonna lose respect for me? And then I was talking to one of my girlfriends about it. I was like, I have to give him something. And like, I've been saving this for him for so long. But I don't want to, I don't want you to lose respect for me for doing that. And she goes, don't you love each other? Aren't you in love? And I was like, of course. Don't you fantasize about it? I was like, of course. She said, then you should be able to share that part of yourself with him. And then the other thing is, and this, I don't know if this is going to sound stupid too, but I was talking to my friend about it and she, I was like, I know you can relate to this and she could totally relate. Like in my eyes, you are absolutely perfect. And as much as you've made me feel so comfortable and confident with you like i'm like you're so beautiful and handsome and smart and like all of these things that i'm like <gasps> you know sometimes i feel insecure as well so it's just a whole bunch of different things and and my friends was like i completely understand like i feel the same way about her husband and she goes but it's gonna make you feel so much closer and i could say like i did feel like that all day like i felt like i don't know i just felt a little bit more in love with you like i never thought i could be any more in love with you well if you need any more reassurance, I loved every word. There is nobody else that I want to spend the rest of my life with. And the only person I even think about, you know, that, that I envision 
everything, you know, that's a part of our future is with you. And I feel just so incredibly lucky every time you open up and you share these things with me and are just so open, like, with your insecurities and the fact that you went ahead and said that anyways. I mean, just for me, just more validation of, you know, the, the strength of our relationship. I just feel lucky. Very, very lucky. Me too. And I get the, the, the whole traumatic past, <laughs> the Catholic upbringing. Yeah. And, <laughs> and yeah, I was wondering, that was one of the questions I had, because I knew that you would, you would struggle with that. Yeah. Thankfully, this morning, you know, when I sat down to read that, you gotta remember this is this is at a few minutes after six a.m. I'm awake, but I'm not, you know, all the way there. First thing, you know, I'm on my way to my workout, so I sit down and and I'm reading your email, and you know, it's a little bit longer than what you normally send me to, and clearly, like I was, you know, surprised. Excited, a little too excited to start my day that way. <laughs> <laughs> and then when everything else transpired this morning, I'm like, oh, I'm so grateful I had a chance to respond to that, even if my response was brief this morning, so that you weren't left waiting all day, wondering what my response was. You know me well. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I mean, honestly, that, w- that was my, my biggest concern when we were locked down. I'm like, Oh, at least I got to send her a few lines. If we're going to be down for a few days, you know, I thought for sure we were down until at least Monday. And I said, oh, that's, that's just... I would have died. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I've been smiling all day. And uh, it's all because of you. Oh. And, you know, this is hopefully to, to everybody else, you know, within your community, anyone else who's looking for, you know, what it takes to to make a Valentine's Day special, regardless of everything that we've done in the past, whatever gifts or exchanges that were, something as, it it was just you taking the time to sit down and compose an email, you know, and share your thoughts and put some words, words down that had such an impact, like, that's all it takes. I've not been able to make eye contact with the camera this whole time. <laughs> you can't shy away from the camera. I can't, but I mean. Uh, that's all right. Are you blushing? Yeah, of course I'm blushing. Uh, well, I'm happy I can still make you blush. Yeah, right back at you. Promise. Promise. I love you. I love you too. I'll talk to you soon. Oh my god, you guys, I'm such an awkward turtle with this stuff. Isn't that crazy, right? You see badass, confident, boss babe bro, and then there's this. Yeah. I'm very uh multifaceted, we'll say, right? I would love to know your thoughts in the comments below. This wouldn't be a prison wife channel if I didn't talk about this topic. So if it's not your cup of tea, it's not if it's not your thing, that is so fine and cool. I get it, not my thing either. But hey, it's my husband of 10 years, right? You guys keep staying strong, keep loving strong, keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to it all being behind you. Lots of love from my heart to all of yours. I'll see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in the next one. Bye guys.